Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, today we have an, a little electronic screwdriver with uh, lots of bits and pieces and it's uh, from the brand Kaiweeds. And Kaiweeds uh, sent me this exchange for a review. And uh, you know maybe Kaiweeds from the multimeters. I have a few right there. I also did a few uh, reviews about those. But I also did one of their tools before and that the, are these automatic wire strippers or these little manual strippers. And the quality looked quite good. So let's have a closer look at their 137 bits and pieces electric screwdriver. Kaiweeds screwdriver set. It doesn't say on the box that it is electric, it says here, but you can charge this here. And uh, well, left, right, I think this is the light. There is an integrated LED here, so you can see better what you're working on. It is a magnetic design. It has a 360 LED and it is durable precision bits. So, lot of promises. How does it look? It comes even with the user manual in English and probably Chinese, both languages. Yeah. Very nice, yeah, and this is what I like from Kaiweeds. Just with the multimeters, it comes immediately in a proper case. So as they do with the multimeters, it is a complete product. Look at that. It opens. Okay. Oh, clearly it has a lot of bits, wow. Uh, normal cross torques, even the small torques, great if you work on on something like an iPhone or you need to work on the, these Apple products. You usually have these tiny screws and this also, we zoom later on the bits, but here they have this type of forks that you sometimes need. And they are not in too many of these combined kits. So that is great that they have that here. What else we have here? We have, well, if you play a guitar or if you want to open an, uh, an iPad, you can put this underneath the screen. Usually they have a suction cup as well. Yes, they do. This is to open the iPad. You put it on the screen and you pull it and then you can use a little bit of these things. I never tried that, I must say, but it is all in the kit. This is USB, this is to charge. USB-C, perfect, not that crappy micro USB. A little brush, you know. Ah, look. Perfect. And also to open the screen so you don't, or if you need to open the side of a multimeter, then you don't need to damage it with a screwdriver. You use the softer plastic. And what is this? Oh, you can go around the corner. Okay. I look also to open. These I like. This damages the equipment a lot less when you try to open uh, something. And the screwdriver itself, it is in this little pipe, probably to prevent that the buttons are pushed and also not to damage it. Oh, cool. It's a little bit of greenish, darkish green. It's already charged. Little LED. and you charge it in the back. Well, let's zoom on the bits and pieces. Let's have a closer look to all the bits that we have. These are like crosses, but then with three, then we have the normal flats. Then we have here the security torques. So it has a little, little hole in the middle. We have the normal crosses. Here we have torques. I think with seven. Here we have real Phillipses, flats, 
this is a cross with one extra. Here we have what we have here. Ah, oh, normal X. And here we have crosses with three. We have forks, forks, forks. A few funny here is even an look at this sort of square square cross. So most things I've ever seen are here. Well, I'm going to charge it and I just want to see if there is any indication on the screwdriver itself or I need to look at my amp meter. Let's see. It is charging. Do I see somewhere a light? Oh yeah, yeah, it's a light. And that probably turns green when it's full. And when it's done charging, the light just uh, goes uh, off. Let's try to open something. I have a little uh, SWR power meter here. It is normal cross, but the idea is the same. And uh, let's just see which one fits best. Perfect fit. It stays in there already, so that's a good fit. Let's zoom in, see what it does. Okay, well I did this myself with the screwdriver before when I was uh, making the video. Well, it just goes in, that is good. I would think that this is, yeah, exactly, and this is makes sense left, right, okay. You can even use it without the engine, then it's locked, it seems almost. Oh, yeah, it works. It feels it's strong. But you should not have it too strong. Because of course you don't want to break your equipment. Oh, let's try the other way around. I like the start always to do manual, but then you can, oh yeah, it's strong, but you don't want it too tight, manual to start, and then, okay. Okay, let's compare with the screwdriver. Is it how stuck is it? Because then you can sort of feel. Yeah, I would have maybe do it a bit more tight manually, but it's good so you don't uh, over tie it. Because especially with all these weird screws, if you are working on a laptop, you probably don't want to do it too tight. I was trying to find on the on the box how many newtons it does, but I don't see that. Maybe it's in the, in the normal manual, but here you can see all the bits as there are hex, torque, torque security, flat, nut, Phillips, tri wing, pussy drift, pentable, triangle, U, square, mid, sim, well, sort of needles, gambits, lots of stuff. Well, I'm looking in the manual for the torque and I find out there is, I missed also an, uh, a little item and that is a magnetizer, demagnetizer. So you saw me fighting a little bit, putting back my screws, but if I magnetize the tip, then uh, the screw will just stick to it and then it's a lot more easy. So uh, magnetizer, demagnetizer, and I found the torque. And the torque is adjustable apparently, and it's adjustable from uh, 0 0.15 to 0 0.35, and you do that with the with the light. So, but it is not explained. I just say push three seconds on the light button. So let me see if I can read a bit more about it. It looks like a big paper, it's not much to read. It's just that it is in many languages. I see French, I think I saw Spanish, Italian, German. So I really need to do it with this one page. So let's see how this torque adjustment works. 
Okay, I found out. It doesn't say, it just says press three seconds, but I think it is one or the other, because if I if I now control, it has this speed. If I push three seconds on the light button, okay, now it's weak. So if I push again, Now it spins faster. I think that is also to indicate, yeah, it's a lot stronger now. Yeah, it's super strong. So I want to put it to the safe. Low torque. Yeah, now it just stops. So when you are ready, you put this so it can't fall out. And then we just close it. Perfect. So that's a pretty neat uh, kit. And uh, yeah, by reading the manual, I found out this, uh, this adjustable torque that I didn't expect. And it doesn't even say on, on the box. And yeah, like many others, I, I usually don't read. Well, this uh, kit will go in my drawer because I sometimes, uh, if I re need to replace a hard disk on a laptop, and they always have these little screws, and if you have the bad luck that you need to do it with an Apple device, then it's also very tiny, all these screws, and uh, this kit has all the sizes that you need, and uh, yeah, will be my main uh, kit. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.